Well, the, what we were trying to do tonight was narrow down all of the options from the, the uh, Housing Choice Voucher uh, Program, to, uh, the uh, income uh, guidelines that we were given. And uh, I think what we've done is really narrowed it down to some options that I think both sides can work with, um, both the renters and the property owners uh, of those rental properties. And uh, I'm really hopeful that you know once this goes back to the committee, um, the source of income committee, that uh, they will come up with a suggestion that really I think both sides will, will find uh, agreeable that they can work with. You know, as, uh, it, whether it's a voluntary program that's interim, that we can really see how this works, uh, you know, for both renters and the property owners. But uh, really, I think we're going to see a better program in the end, one that both sides can work with and, and really give people choices, which is their right, and uh, give the property owners the right to manage their property uh, and maintain it in a quality manner. There wouldn't be a mandating of... Uh, using those vouchers as a source of income. Uh, that's definitely, I think, something that, that we don't want to uh, uh, see initially in a program, but it will certainly be, uh, they'll see all the options, why it's a good uh, possible ability to use that, uh, that approach. And uh, I, I can see a, a program that uh, is voluntary in nature, so we can really get more data on how it's working and tweak it uh, before it becomes something that will be mandatory in an ordinance. Uh, long-term ordinance. I, I, I'm very happy with the um, the options that the council is going to consider. Uh, we were always looking for a compromise of some kind and we'll be happy to work with the council on on the wording of those options and uh, do whatever else we can to increase the amount of voucher holders.